Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add the countdown timer on your Shopify product page. And the countdown timer on the product page is really important actually if you are doing dropshipping especially. And even if you do not offer like a, a special time offer, you should actually add the countdown timer to your Shopify store as a scarcity technique. And the scarcity technique will make customer think that this offer is only for a limited time or this uh, product will only be available for 10 uh, variants on the stock or so on. So the customer will think if he did not buy the product in that specific time or in that time of the timer, he will miss out on the sale. So if you are a dropshipper and you want to raise your conversion rate, then a countdown timer will be a really good option for you. However, there is some cases that you shouldn't use it. For example, if you want to use, uh, for example, Google Shopping, you want to add the products in your Shopify store or other platform so people can discover your products more easily, like Google Shopping. Well, in that case, you shouldn't use the countdown timer because it's against their terms of service. Any countdown timer or any actually scarcity technique, it's against their conditions. So you shouldn't use it if you want to add your products to Google Shopping. And if you are not planning on adding your product to Google Shopping, then you must use the countdown timer. If you do promote on Facebook ads or something like that, that will help with your conversion rate, as I said. And the countdown timer I will show you in this video will have many, many options. Uh, I mean in customizing. You can add an animation to it like it's uh, popping up from the bottom of the page or showing up like in a special effect or so on and as well as the designing of the widget that has the timer on it and you can change the wallpaper for it. I mean the background of the timer and the text and make the text bigger or smaller and even you can add a button on it. If you want to promote other products on other products pages you can do that actually because you can set a button below the timer and you can set the link for it for other products if you have a special time offer for other products as well. And as I said, you can add animations and you can customize it however you want. The options when it comes to customizing are huge and you can do whatever you want. So you make it unique and stand out from your competition. So without any more talking, let's just get to it. And please, if this video helped you out, Help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. It's completely free as well. So it's a win-win situation. And let's just get to it. So let's just close the Shopify store in here. And obviously head over to the Shopify dashboard. After that, we need to install an app, as I said. So instead of doing it in the regular way, click on apps here and access the Shopify app store. Don't install an app. No, just scroll down the description box and you will see the link for the app. Simply click on it or you can just wait and see me install it and customize the widget and install the widget as well on the product page. Then check it out how it will look like and as well as the options you will see when it comes to customizing and creating it. And if you do like it, then scroll down the description or install it. If you don't, sorry to hear that. I apologize in advance, but I think you would really like it. So for people that already trust my choice, then just scroll down and click on the link. Then it will take you to this page right here, which is the Shopify store or the Shopify app, sorry, that we'll use for this demonstration. And as always, it's completely free. So you don't have to pay anything. And the same for the, all the apps that I show in my channel. And I'm not affiliated with any of the apps that I show on my channel. I do show them based on the how they work and if they lightweight or not, as I said, and they have the best options and designs and so on. So after you did access the link, click on add app right here and it will take you to the Shopify dashboard. Then click on install app right here. And after a couple of seconds, you will see this page right here, which is the settings and the layout and the dashboard in this app is really good. I do like it. So the first thing you're going to do is click on next right here. Then you will need to enable the widget from the team customizer. You can access the team customizer on Shopify dashboard or you can simply click on enable app right here. Then it will open up a new tab and it will take you directly to the team customizer as well as the widget so you can enable it. And here is it's enabled. It. Then click on save button right here. And after you did click on save, simply close this. You don't, we don't need it anymore. So the next thing you're going to do is click on next. So click on next, then click on agree to terms, then click on let's go. And it will take you to the dashboard. And in here, you will need to name your campaign, which is the countdown timer. So in my case, I'm going to name it like a countdown timer. If you do have multiple uh, countdown timers and you did create for each product then make sure you do name it the campaign as the product's name so you can keep track of each one 
So in my case, I'm just doing this for demonstration. I'm gonna name it as countdown timer. So in option below here, you will see three options, which is the bar either at the top of the page or a bottom of the page, then the products page, which is the thing we are going for in this video, then the add to cart page or cart page, sorry. And for this demonstration, we are going for products page. So click on products page, then click on next right here. Then it will take you to the widget where you can customize the countdown timer as you can see and here is by default it will show you this design and as I said you can customize everything in here so the first thing you're going to do is obviously you have an option here if you want to customize hurry up or I don't know what you can replace it with I'm gonna keep it as hurry up you can brainstorm ideas and change it however you want and then the sales end in which is the subheadings right here below hurry up so I'm gonna keep it as sales and and as well then here the options which is the time obviously for the timer so how many days this offer will be available uh, one day and two hours 11 minutes and 45 seconds and this is really obvious so in here you're gonna put how many days you want the timer to keep going for and it gives you the option by selecting the days an hour and minute also in a second because it's a countdown timer it's gonna start from 45 seconds and we're gonna see that in a moment so below there is an option here if you want to schedule to store later for example you can set a countdown timer and schedule it if we do now enable this option it will give us the option to select the date for the start and the end date when it's gonna end exactly in my case i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna disable this option then the option as i said because you can add a button so button hide or show if i click on it it will show a button as you can see on the countdown timer so obviously in here you can click on the button url right here then as i said you can add a product url if you do promote other products as well you can put the link for them in here and once the customer clicks on the button it will take them to that particular product in my case i'm gonna disable the option as well because i think it looks really clean like this without the button so the next option click on the this bar right here uh, so we can access the position animation and the design in general so the first thing is the top bar design so click on it right here then it will show you the designs that's already made and available for you to pick from and you can see some really cool designs as you can see for example uh, this one right here I, I, I do like this one the blue one yeah I do like this one it's it looks really good so in my case I'm gonna go with this one however in your case you can check out all the designs in here and see which one suits your design of your Shopify store obviously then I'm gonna close this and head back to the wallpapers so the wallpapers is based on the design which is the background of the countdown timer as I said you can disable everything on this app for example i can change the wallpaper to this one right here you just click on it this is for halloween and there is other designs for example this one is a uh, transparent as you can see and i do like this color as well however i'm gonna keep it as the original for the design which is this one right here and that just close wallpaper and below it there is the timer title you can change the layout for example if you enable this option it will be like this in a line style so i'm gonna keep it like this looks better and the option title background is transparent i'm gonna keep it as that and the text as well i'm gonna keep it as white because it suits the background the background is blue so the next option is the timer display right here in the timer font size i can make it bigger for example like this you can see the numbers are getting bigger so it will be more obvious for the customer to see so let's just add one one more and that's it and the item background right here i'm going to keep it as transparent and make sure to go over this option to see which one suits you your best for the, your design obviously and the timer below it right here will give you the option to change the background and so on you can click on it and pick a color however i'm going to keep it as transparent because i did set a background as a picture which is this picture right here as you can see and the option for the button we didn't choose a button we did disable the option then we don't need it and custom css if you do have a custom css code that will make a custom color that it doesn't exist here or custom design does a custom picture and so on make sure to add it in here and the option below it which is the best i think is the animation so the animation by default is sliding down however my favorite one is zoom in zoom in like this it looks way way better as you can see let's just uh, fade in and let's just get back to zoom in as you can see it looks way better so i'm gonna stick with that then the next thing is click on next right here and on this page right here you will 
pick if you want to display this for all products or in a single product or in multiple products from your selection so you can select which product you can show the countdown timer and which you don't want to show the countdown timer in my case i'm going to set it for one product so i'm going to click on enable trigger right here so to display only on specific products simply click on it then it will give you the option to select products so i'm going to click on select products and let's just uh, search for the product that i'm going to add the timer to and here it is this one so i'm going to select this one if you want to add more uh, search for others and add them in here so let's just click on continue with selected products and below there is some really special options in here so the conditions right here which is when you want the countdown timer to show up on your product page for example the card value right here which is if you want to show the countdown timer when a minimum value on the order or maximum value on the order is triggered then this is going to show up for example if i set condition right here it's going to give me the option to select the minimum then the maximum right here in my case i'm not gonna do that so i'm gonna keep it without any triggers and below it is show by url for example if you do promote on facebook and so on you can add a parameter to the url based on facebook for example question mark facebook it will not affect the url actually it will still access the same url however with question mark facebook you can track uh, people that are coming from facebook so in that way you can come in here and add the show by url then add the url which is as i said the example question mark facebook then everyone that's coming from facebook it will show up on the products page and i mean the countdown timer and obviously you need to promote on facebook your shopify store slash question mark facebook and as i said the parameter will not affect the url and below in here which is show only for local customers so customers that already have an account on your Shopify store and I think most people will not need this then the last option which is if you do use a funnel however we don't in this case because we're using a particular product so let's just click on save button right here which is the last option then we are good to go as you can see that's why I said make sure to name each one by the name of the product if you want to set different products with different timers and last step in here which is accessing Shopify store and seeing if it actually works or not and see how it look like so we are on shopify store let's just scroll down and check out the product that we did set the timer to so let's just scroll down yeah this is the product right here by the way if you are interested in how to add the color swatches with the products for the variant as you can see make sure to check out my channel i did make that video as well so let's just check out the product and the timer should show up right here and here it is as you can see with the design that we did set it as the with including the background wallpaper and with the animation as well let's just uh, reload the page so we can check out the animation and here we go as you can see and it fits the add to cart button perfectly and without having to edit any code or uh, team customizer in order, in order to set it on the product page on top of the add to cart it's set it automatically so that's how you add the countdown timer to your shopify product page easily and with the best app available and completely free so if this video helped you out help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you in the next one